listening to Modern Male Radio with Jared Zavistoski, right here on LA Talk Radio. What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Jared Zavistoski, and you're listening to Modern Male Radio. This is all the stuff your mama should have told you and the shit your daddy never knew. <laughs> and joining me tonight, we've got some special guests, Lexi and what Johnny. Up? What up? Um, so tonight's show, we're going to be talking about tattoos, what makes them sexy, why they're so masculine, why is the whole world obsessed with tattoos? So I brought in an expert on the subject. Johnny's a tattoo artist. He, has, uh, he, he owns a practice out here in Los Angeles called Sacred Art Tattoo, and he's pretty much tattooed every person I know. And Lexi happens to have a crap ton of tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I that do. makes her an expert as well. And, you know, for a long time, I haven't gotten any tattoos, guys. Uh, it was just ne- it was never something that um, really interested me. And for a long time, I was like, oh, well, you know, maybe. But then I just never got around to it. Me and Johnny have been talking about this for two years. For about two years now. Yeah. I'm trying to get you to get it. It's, uh, for sure. I think it's time. It's so about time. It's guess about what, guys? Time. We're Today's I- the day. <laughs> Today is the day. Absolutely. Step in your game up. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Might as well do it on the radio if you're going to do it. Yep. Oh, boy. Yep. See how tough you really are. So yeah, what are right? you getting? What you, what's your, uh, why are you getting this tattoo? So this what's is, the uh, meaning of this tattoo that you're about to get? This is uh, the name of my company, Innovative Awareness, IA. Oh. Uh, and I've always had a, an obsession with things that look like something, but then aren't really what they seem, like Beauty and the Beast kind of a thing. Right. Okay. Where from the outside, because, I mean, I, I've de- dealt with uh, – judgment a lot in life people tend to think that i'm a tool or that i'm you know obtuse or whatever it is um or player or whatever because of how i look and uh it's been a a very very uh important thing for me to throw out there and be like look i'm i'm nothing nothing like what you think i am absolutely um and i think that um that's important and i would like to spread the word on that so everything that we put out through innovative awareness is going to be innovating what you're aware of yeah. Yeah, I never okay. judge a book by its Absolutely. cover. I was just going to say exactly. that. I was just going to say that. Well, nowhere that's, is that more true. Th- people do with that. I mean, look at, obviously, me and Johnny, we get stereotyped all the time. And oh. you guys are the nicest <laughs> people by, on by, earth. By far. Yeah. By, yeah, well, sometimes very, very you guys true. are the nicest people on earth. <laughs> 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 no, so, uh, Lexi, you're going to have to tell me, um, what, what about tattooing is sexy? Well, um, we... You guys know. You have seen well, have seen some of the guys I've <laughs> dated, and I've always been into the whole bad boy, like kind of like not straight up like tough guy, macho man, but I do like a guy that's covered in tattoos. So define the difference between bad boy and macho man because there's macho a huge man, difference. There is a huge difference because macho man just, you know, spends his time at the gym and like, yeah, I'm tough. Let me bring my beach ball. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> the beach is that away. No, um, I don't know. I like, I like kind of the whole rebellious. I mean, I grew up being a rebel myself, and I kind of have always needed someone. I'm usually tougher than the dudes I date. And that's, that's, true. that's not cool, you know? Mm. I don't want to be the girl <laughs> protecting her boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, and I'm not saying tattoos make you, like, tough or cooler, you know? It's a slight <laughs> representation. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm really cool now. Um, you ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Um, it, it, it's interesting because I've often said that the um, you know the definition of, of edge. Uh, I, I talk about that in the book. How you don't have to be a certain way to be edgy. No, no, no. You know, but a lot of people they kind of need that 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 little push. You know, they need a tattoo yeah. or something to kind of show the world that they're edgy. So it becomes yeah. kind of like a, a, a an identifying mark if you will. Yeah. Hey, I'm edgy. I'm not afraid to break the rules. I'm, I'm kind of a fearless yes, motherfucker. That, that is true. And I feel like automatically, if you are a badass, a lot of the majority of people who are badasses whoo, tend to get, you know, tattoos as well. <laughs> it just kind of goes along with it. I'm a badass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> certainly. <laughs> certainly. <laughs> I'll fuck shit up. <laughs> no, but I mean, I, it just goes with me. I, I'm also, for go. me, creativity Ooh. All right, here goes. Here we go. We're starting this bad boy. Changing your man. He's like, it's going to feel oh. weird at first. <laughs> that's what. That's so what we'll see what weird, the definition of weird is. It's different. A shit ton of pain. <laughs> this, you're going to be fine. It's, it's on bad. your wrist. That's okay. All right, cheers, guys, to my first tattoo. Cheers. cheers. I can't grab anything, but cheers. I, well, I made you a drink right there. No, I know, I know. I, okay. it's, it's sterile. Like, sterile. Sterile procedures. Let's All eat. right. You ready? I, oh, here we go. I'm excited Uh-oh. for you. Show, uh, show the audience your. Um, well, that's that's fine. Um, show the audience your. Uh, See? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, 
my awesome gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got a new sponsor, guys. So every uh, every week we're gonna be giving away our awesome, awesome sponsor's gift. So why don't you go ahead and show the audience what we got you? Well, first, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of flowers, mm -hmm. and I actually tend to buy myself flowers at least once a week, or sometimes Aww. more. So, um, and I have over 30 roses tattooed on me. You you have a rose tattooed mm. on your neck. I have. Oh wow! Bunch of roses. Yeah, yeah. they're everywhere. Yeah. Wow. All over me. So um, this is actually pretty special. It's a gold-plated rose. Okay. And um, it never dies, and I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah. It's 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 amazing, and it's I don't know, kind of leaves me speechless. It's dope. Like I love it. You know what's crazy is we're actually gonna do the the new theme song for Modern Mel Radio is actually gonna be Ron Ron Beam speechless. Oh really? Yeah yeah yeah. Interesting. Do you know Ronnie? Um, no, I don't, I don't think okay. so. Okay. Never mind. It's not important. So back to tattoos. Um, it's interesting to me that, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of trepidation going into getting your first tattoo. I'm experiencing it right now where it was like, wow, this is going to be forever. Yeah. You know, and I, I almost wondered if maybe there was something in that, that women respect where when a man's willing to tattoo something onto his body, there's a commitment thing there. For sure. Yeah. You know, there might be something sexy about that. There is definitely something sexy about a man being able to commit to anything because in LA yeah everybody wants commitment <laughs> <laughs> not everybody everybody wants to come all the women want a commitment so yeah you know I'm not gonna say all of them some guys do too but majority of the men in LA don't really know what commitment is I mean we do live in a beautiful town with a bunch of beautiful people so I mean hey I get it but um, yeah there is definitely something sexy about a man that can commit to something that's on their bodies forever commits and want it and wants it and so yeah. what do you well how would you respond to people because i've heard occasionally from certain people that uh you know it's a fashion statement and that i i hear all the time when people are like hey you know you're gonna be old someday and i'm like dude i'm gonna look like shit when i'm old anyway, anyway i might I as well have some <laughs> fucking tattoos yeah, and these tattoos these tattoos are gonna be covering my varicose veins yeah my cellulite <laughs> my scars <laughs> like i'm gonna look colorful as fuck when i'm old and a lot cuter Mm -hmm. and a majority of the old people who don't have tattoos. And I get approached, mm, I, it used to be more, but I've been approached recently by people, older people who are like, what are you gonna do with, when you're older and have tattoos? And I'm just like, look well, better than yeah. you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Look way better than you. Look better than you. Yeah. There's the fucking answer. <laughs> well, this looks great so far. It's looking good. Yeah. How's it feeling? Uh, it feels actually like- Not bad? Yeah, no, it feels like a, like you scraped your arm on like a fucking. Yeah. It's just an annoying yeah. feeling. That's yeah, all it just is. wait till you get to like your collarbones and. Mm, mm. You know they say once you get just one tattoo, you, <laughs> you get addicted. You're addicted completely. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that too, so I was really interested to see how that pans out, because everybody uh, uh, that I've ever known that got tattoos said that they were addictive. Like once you get one, you want more and more and more. You always yeah. want more. And I I, yeah. Well, it's a good thing my best friend's a tattoo artist. There we right. Go. Me and Johnny go way back. <laughs> we do. We have done some shit. I'm actually not watching any of this. I probably should, huh? What? Probably should watch the actual tattoo being oh, drawn. No. That'd be cool, it's right? I was hoping you wouldn't because I was going to put something else. <laughs> <laughs> going to draw a big penis on you. <laughs> have you seen any of the tattoos that actually, um, they're, they're like really cool, awesome pieces, and an asshole tattoo artist will go in and kind of make dick shapes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a signature. It's so fucked up. It is. It's it is such a, a, a fucked really up. fucked up signature. Thankfully, I don't have any dicks tattooed on me, but I do have a lot of homegirls who do. <laughs> but they ask, one of those nights. But they ask for yeah. it. Wait, so you actually know people who've gotten dicks tattooed on? Oh, yeah. I know a lot I, of girls. I know people that have actually uh, guys that have uh, an artist has gone up to him and say, "Hey, man, you want a free tattoo?" They're like, "Yeah, well, it's got to be a dick with wings," and they will seriously yep. get it. They I will. don't know why. Have you, have you known some people like that? Right? I know a gay guy with a, uh, it's like a, a little Maybe. girl's face. The permanent prank. A little girl's face and like a, <laughs> like a crossbone face, but two big dicks shooting come out, crossing instead of bones that's at horrible. the bottom. Yeah, that is horrible. That is horrible. Yeah. Almost as horrible as <laughs> going on my wrist right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, no, it's actually better when I talk to you and I just block it out like block it, it's it out. not there. I'm going to drink some of my magic <laughs> juice. <laughs> Getting a little hot over there, huh? Oh yeah, I'm sweating balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are you okay, man? Fine, are I'll live. Uh, That's not. how I was my first tattoo. I was, I was uh, actually in a chair, and I. No, it's because vitamin yeah. water raises your core temperature, and it's thermogenic. <laughs> <laughs> don't move. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to move. That's yeah, for sure. Moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Stop, stop moving. I'm good. I'm good. I'm over here now. 
All right, so how much is too much? Is mean? there too much? No, well, not to me. I, I, you, as you know, you've seen some of my exes. Mm -hmm. I like my boys heavily, heavily tattooed. Yeah. I am recently opening up to, you know, non more, more conservative, more conservative men because usually the heavily, heavily tattooed men Same that I thing. like. Yes. Bring me hell, so you know. Explain that, because this is a show on dating. So let's explain the negative connotations behind oh, guys that get tattoos. I'm all about it. Okay, I like. Okay, like I said, I like the bad boys. So I really put myself in that. I, I do it to myself. Mm -hmm. Like I'm setting myself up for failure most of the time. But there's something about the bad boy. I don't know the rebellion that I, I personally like. It bugs me that. Like, is it so something like? Because a lot of people would say, oh, you know, a girl wants to change the guy, and that. That's what's appealing. But I don't know if it's that. I, I think assholes are just kind of endearing and funny. <laughs> like, yes, <laughs> but you know what? It's not even, okay. It's usually, you know, I meet these guys and they're heavily tattooed and they aren't an asshole when we first get together at mm. all. Well, it slowly a, progresses and, they become, and it turns That's become every relationship. Yeah. Yes, true. Very true. And they become a psycho. But I, I personally don't want to be around an asshole all day. I've been there right. and I've done that. Okay. <laughs> you know? So I don't think it's the ass. I mean... It's a little bit of a dick, you know, to put me in my place when needed. I don't mind, but... It's funny. Every girl says that. Every girl wants to be put in her place. I don't care if she's got tattoos or not. Every single girl wants to be put in her place. Why don't you explain what being put in your place really means to a woman? Well, for me personally, I can get out of line sometimes. I'm Latina, and I am sassy as fuck. Oh, and shit. I, um... Sometimes I go too far with things, and I need mm -hmm. someone that will be like, listen, sit down, bitch, calm the fuck down, like, listen up, you know? And then I feel like, oh, okay, he can handle me. He yes, handle daddy. Me. <laughs> exactly. Yes, daddy. <laughs> I become submissive all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> you need a spanking, bitch. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sit the fuck down. See, that's, see, talking like that ain't so bad. <laughs> oh, really? Hey. So yeah. sit the fuck down works for you? <laughs> but wait, but, but in a different, like, different scenarios you know like in my little kinky weird way getting talked yeah, to yeah. like that sometimes is kind of hot mm, okay and if you're being like a complete asshole in front of family and friends i'd be like fuck you motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> you know then then that Lat latina side that i was talking about comes out so it's basically a social intelligence to know when you're stepping over the line to know you well enough to even speak for you yeah and to be a second brain yeah so to speak yeah we just have it so fucking easy, guys, don't we? <laughs> Us bitches are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but so are you guys. So. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Both sexes have a uh, an issue there. How do you feel about tattooed women? You know what's funny? It, oh, wow. Yeah, that is a good one. Um, you or me? Him. You go. I can't talk right now. Go. You've dated nothing but tattooed women. Yes. Uh, it's very yeah. true. <laughs> and I have... All of but that. I'm just like her. I'm actually going towards the normal. The norm. And, Isn't and that weird? And I've been normal my whole life, well, and I'm going towards the tattoo. I think, I think it is. I think it is. Yeah. Well, well we, we've talked to you enough that I think we're we're bringing you on the dark side here. Mm -hmm. And it is it is like a, uh, a stereotype. You know, it's a lot of people they they get tattoos and they think oh they're the badasses. They're mm -hmm. you know they're this and that. And I think we actually start believing we are, so we start acting crazy. Maybe. Uh, maybe. I or don't maybe know. we're just already crazy. Or maybe we're already crazy. <laughs> I mean, What's they call funny? me bonkers for a reason. Yeah, right. I had, a, <laughs> I had right. a friend go out and get an entire sleeve from this really shitty tattoo artist just so that he could pick up girls because he liked girls with tattoos and they didn't like him back. Wow. And they kept calling him pussy. And I'm like, dude, it's not because you don't have tattoos that they're calling you a pussy because nobody ever calls me a pussy. Mm. I'm like, it has to do with, it, it's, a little, it's a little more than skin deep. Yeah. It's not something you can paint on you. Absolutely. Well, recently, this is a perfect example, actually. Recently, I met this older gentleman, and um, he is almost twice my age, and he has never gotten tattooed ever. And he just was a friend of mine. We started hanging out. That was it. No interest. And then within a week, this fool got his whole back, a full back piece. Are you serious? After hanging out with me, and I'm like, that's not going to make me like you. Oh, my <laughs> and you're, God. And you're like, <laughs> and you're like the, the door. <laughs> How do I get out of here? So what <laughs> not yeah. to do? Where's and uh, then he started getting his arms, you know, slowly wow. working more and more. And I'm like, oh, all of a sudden, you know. And then another time, actually, with one of my, my ex, my ex, um, before me and my ex were together, a guy was trying to hit on me in my old tattoo shop. And he was the... Uh, 
the valet parking guy and he came in one day kind of buzzed and he's been trying to kind of holler at me for a minute and he was like i'm gonna get your name tattooed today what and i was like See, that's a super creeper wow. move. Don't like, ever do that if you're I, trying to get laid. I've never, wow. never gone on a date with this guy. That's never, insane. nothing, nothing. And I'm like, oh, really? You Just are. think about how many times he probably masturbates to you. Oh, my God. Because uh, that's, I mean, that's what all guys do. Yeah. yeah. Every guy you've ever met that, like, wanted your ass, but you didn't give him the time <laughs> of day, he's literally went home and whacked it to the idea of you, like, 50 times. Oh, that's... Yeah. Well, what's his name? Where do you work? <laughs> <laughs> Just no, kidding. so he ended up actually, before me and my ex were together, my ex was a tattoo artist, he ended up getting my name tattooed on him by my ex. And then a couple months did later... Did your ex know? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he did? Oh, he yeah. Did? He, oh, we worked God. at the same tattoo shop together. Yeah. And I'm like, look at this look at this guy. He's about to get my name tattooed on him for life. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Bitch move. I was a lot younger. I'm sweet now, guys. <laughs> 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 but um, So he did it, and then I ended up dating the tattoo artist for about five years after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty, pretty interesting. But um don't ever, men, if you guys are listening, do no don't ever get a tattoo to impress a woman because you're just gonna look kinda like Oh man, I got this tattoo to impress you. <laughs> right? I was like, I'm gonna have fucking Lexi on the show. I gotta get a tattoo so I can hang with her. <laughs> oh yeah, all of a sudden. No, but it's funny because there is almost a social divide. It reminds me of that Dr. Seuss Seuss book where they uh the ones have stars and the other ones don't. It's called the Sneetches. And they go through this little machine and like the ones with the stars thought they were special and the ones without the stars thought they were special. And then they're like, oh, well, the ones without the stars are more special than us. So blah, blah, blah. And then basically they end up switching their fucking thing. They build a machine and it switches uh, to make one look like the other. Well, then they keep going through this machine and they can't tell who was who before. Oh, yeah. So all of a sudden they're like, oh, well. Well, we're all people at the end of the day. Right. Yeah. So it's it's just funny because a lot of judgment comes with that. And some of the nicest people I've ever met in L.A. Right. all have tattoos. Yeah. It's the judgment. I mean, that's the wrong thing about the whole thing. The whole thing it's, yeah. it's, it's really, I mean, how can anybody judge anybody without knowing them? and seeing Not who just they that. Are? Who are you to judge anyone? Absolutely. <laughs> you Absolutely. know. Absolutely. For sure. Oh, yeah. Now that you have this tattoo... Oh yeah. Your world's now I can change. judge you. <coughs> your world's gonna change. You're gonna be walking in. My fucking sex appeal People just went through the roof. People are gonna be looking at you like, oh my god, he's got a tattoo. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk to you. You're you're a hoodlum. Oh, see, I was thinking <laughs> the opposite. I was like, girls are gonna drop panties the second oh, I walk in there. Well, that too. But yeah, it's gonna be fucking awesome. Don't you, don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> don't you. Yeah, that's why I'm getting my fucking publishing company tattooed on my arm. <laughs> Look, I own a book. <laughs> <laughs> I own a book. That's so fucking sexy, right? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, all right, I need more of this. How are you feeling over there? Uh, it stings, but it's good. It's funny because I was done like 30 minutes ago. I've just been <laughs> just go going. Over I'm just going and over, over and over and over. And over. <laughs> just to give just you cleaning up the torture. fucking lines. Well, what do you think best friends are for? Absolutely. Exactly to torture you and to <laughs> fuck with you. Hey, clean up that fucking a. There you go. There oh, go. did you do a little uh, imaginary dick in there? <laughs> did you see it? Did you see it? <laughs> wow, good job. Thought I hit it pretty well. So we were going to have a f another friend of mine on the show, and he was going to get my face tattooed on his ass. <laughs> oh, Robert. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Robert. Oops. Hi, buddy. Uh, um, Robert, don't be such a pussy. 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 <laughs> Robert. What a fucking pussy. <laughs> Who wouldn't want this gorgeous face on their ass? Right? Like, right? Come on. Hello. It, it would have cock-blocked him again and again and again, many times From other over. dudes? <laughs> <laughs> I got jokes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh Sorry, my god. Robert, I don't know who you are, but I just have <laughs> <laughs> No, you're you're on the money. <laughs> this is actually great. This is one of our best shows. Uh, yeah, so what? We covered commitment and then there's also the idea that it's a fashion statement. Um, what do you what do you think about changing fashions? Do you ever feel like people associate their tattoos with their identity? Um, I, for, for, well, I can only relate to myself because I don't know about everybody else. But for me, I um, express myself in my art and how I feel. And a lot of my art tells different stories. And um, it, I've always been kind of the oddball, always a little punky, a little different. Mm -hmm. And it, it honestly, I feel like me. In, this makes me feel like me in my own skin, you know? Okay. Um, I don't do it just for fashion. Yeah, I think they look amazing. I think they look beautiful. But I do it for more of a self... Uh, just knowing who I am. Type okay, thing. so you it's basically to put put out there and let 
<coughs> is it more for you to know who you are, or is it for other I people? I know who I am, I like but I just feel comfortable in my being own. Being in your own skin. In my I, own, this is me. I feel this like, is my yes, own exactly. skin. Like, this is who I am. Yeah. Okay. This is my, you feel. This you is my creativity being expressed exp- out onto absolutely. my body. Absolutely. And I feel. And nowadays, people are, it's okay. the wrong reason why people are getting yeah. tattoos. It's, it's, you know, back in 20 years ago, 10 years ago, it was a different story. You know, people got tattoos because, you know, it. it it, it wasn't cool. You know, yeah. it was it was their self. They did it for a reason. Music, they were yeah. doing it for a reason. Because back then, I mean, people, when they saw people getting, you know, when they saw their tattoos, they hated them. Yeah. They're like, what the fuck is this guy? He's walking down sailors, the street. Yeah, it was know. a completely different story back yeah. then. And nowadays, um, you know, people are getting tattoos because, you know, it looks cool. Oh, oh, and, you know, it's, it's like the new pair of shoes or something, you know. It's mm-hmm. like, it's completely yeah. different, you know. Which is why you invested in a laser removal system, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Hey, some people get shitty tattoos. Are we done? Yeah, that's it. We're done. This is it. This Ciao! is it, my man. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god, he didn't cry. I'm so proud of him. My Good first job. tattoo, guys. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. Hollywood. Let me, let me check it out. It's it looks not great. bad. Good job. Bad ass. Loving we'll it. We'll wrap it up after the show. Yeah, you're right. They are addicting. I already want another one. I'm like scared <laughs> to play our real quick. Right? Um, so Johnny, you got some extra time? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right. We, you know what's funny is I was going to suggest that, that when we when a... we were gonna have the show, I was like, we should have a girl get like a brand yeah. like modern male on her right, ass. Right, right. Well, but you're not a male. I would never tattoo my ass because I got a good ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do we know? Or it's at like, least how yeah. does the audience? <laughs> <laughs> good one. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Awesome. So Looks I right, am man. officially tatted. Good job, my man. Look at you. Welcome to the gang. Oh, <laughs> I'm like a member of the oh, team right yeah. now. Yeah. Now, now we get to hang out. Which is another thing that, you know, it's funny because I, I mentioned my friend who, who had gotten tattoos um, to kind of belong. or, or he, he, he got him to make himself attracted to women. But I also think that at some point he was hanging out with people that had tattoos and he didn't have any. And I think that maybe he wanted to belong Ten. to this club or whatever. Yeah. And I mean that was the di- that was the difference between us because uh, me and you fucking what all my friends have tattoos. I'm yeah. the only one that doesn't yeah, have tattoos. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. And I went like this for years and years and years. And I'm like, wait, do I need to get tattoos to be in the fucking the club? And like, <laughs> no. no. And that's, and that's, <laughs> that's, Just that's, be you, dude. Absolutely. That like, absolutely. that's my honestly cliche and gay as it sounds like. Just be you. Don't try to do some shit to fit in with other people. You know, we're friends. That's lame. We're, we're friends because just just you know because we're friends. You know, we've hung out. And we. We would get to know each other, and that's just, that's what it is. This is know? awesome. Did you like it? Yeah, yeah I love it. Dude, I'm like fucking stoked oh, right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, he's got tattoos. Oh, oh, the tattoo fever. Tattoo fever. I'm gonna, I'll be over Johnny's house again like tomorrow. Oh, I'll be yeah, like, yeah, hey, man. Yeah, hey, yeah. hey, hey, man. I, I need a fix. I, 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 I need a fix. I need that tattoo, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, man. Oh, you, man. You How come I'm up? So yeah. how did it feel? Wasn't as bad as you thought? No, not even what? not even half as bad as I thought yeah? it was gonna Good, be. Man. There were a few times where it was like really motherfucker, but okay, yeah. other than well, that, well, that's a bad it's a bad area. Yeah. You know the the wrist is definitely. I knew uh, going in that, that was gonna very be sensitive. A, Don't lie. Yeah, no. <laughs> Wait, it's not a. You gotta get to your but where their bones are, True. collarbones. Yeah. My heart is with my collarbones here, and I have a, a separated collarbone. One sticks out a little farther than the mm-hmm. other. Going over that one, you can feel like the needle bouncing on the bone. Uh, it, 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 yeah, I think for some uh, people, you I'm know, a once, you, once you get yeah, tattooed, there's also a feeling. You know, it's all, for some people, it's also, um, you know, it's also like a, a therapeutic thing. You know? Oh so, yes. So you Definitely. know, like me, like every time I'm feeling bad or like you know, I need a uh, just to relax and just and just just to change my meditation. Yeah. I'll get a tattoo, you know. Extremely. Mm. That, that, that's some of the reasons why maybe we get tattoos. Um, oh, definitely. And you know, I, it just feels take good. the internal, put it external. Absolutely, yeah. it feels it feels good. It's a, re- it feels, it's a release. It's a release for, uh, for definitely. Me. It's release. like that teardrop when you kill a motherfucker. <laughs> it could be like yeah. this is the demon That's that a I different slayed. <laughs> oh oh. <laughs> <laughs> what up, motherfucker? <laughs> Shit, we got we we have a uh, bad acidness in our presence, guys. <laughs> She's got a little upside down heart on her eye. <laughs> Does that mean that you like raped somebody and then killed them? Or? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know. What's the upside down heart for? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't actually know. don't. Just give me that serious look right now. <laughs> like, stop, so, uh, stop yeah, talk. I'm. I think I'm gonna go back on the other side now. Yeah. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. All right. so actually, right. no. You know what? Fuck it. I started here. Uh, I like started it. from the bottom. Now we're here. Absolutely. <laughs> this is what we're doing. How um, are you guys liking this? Uh, I love it. They can't. I'm ta- t- I was talking to the, the audience, but well, they can't. They don't really have a choice. Yeah. No, they could call in, but I can't see them right now because 
Oh. Uh, interesting. This is fucking awesome. Turn the screen. Let's let's see if they call. And I love that I got this, you know, for me because it was something that I was like, you know what? You got you got to do this. Yeah. It, 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 and for me personally, a lot of it had to do with are you missing out on something? Is this Right. It was it wasn't as like I wanted a tattoo. Tattoos were kind of like I'd see them on like like fucking, I don't know, like Tomb Raider or those tattoos. I'd be like, oh, that's dope. <laughs> that's you know, awesome. but yeah. then when people were all sleeved up, I'm like, I don't really like that. Yeah. When I thought, well, everybody else seems to like it. Like, why? What What about that? Do, well, is it? You make it to your own you make it to, to your fit own. you. Yeah. Like, that's, mm-hmm. you might not like my tattoos because. Oh, I love your tattoos. You can't They're relate. sexy as hell. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but, but when you relate to something and it's like your art and this is your idea and you came up with this, you, you get attached to it. Absolutely. It's a part of you. It's also, there's also, I'm already it's attached also to this society thing. society almost. See that's what I mean? how I feel. There's a lot of people out there that get tattooed and we're kind of a family. I think there's a big big group of us that's a whole family it's a tattoo family I guess. Uh, yeah and it's dude all the time people are like like they're like you don't have any tattoos really yeah because i'm kind of an asshole <laughs> <laughs> they're like I'm how do you asshole, not, have so I not have tattoos <laughs> i'm like uh, I get, yeah no i mean well, well, we're talking about do, that so now you're fitting into the asshole category yeah but now i'm going to become nicer because everybody i know with <laughs> tattoos is actually quite nice uh, uh, you know, except for Lexi, uh, the people that Lexi hates. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 the people. Because oh, 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 oh. what? Except for Lexi's ex-boyfriends is what I meant to say. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, because I got some nice ones out there, you know. Yeah, those were the two monthers, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. The long-term ones were the the two days. Bitch! What do you think you're going? Get back here! Well, I'm changing my ways, guys. Yeah. If she wants interested. a nice guy. I See, do. what happens is young girls like to be treated like shit, and then as they get older, they start to realize that, like, oh, shit. Ain't nobody got time oh, yeah. for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for Ain't that. Ain't nobody. We're, yeah. all looking, we're all looking for something. It's something good. back to so. the release thing that you were saying. Like, yeah. I, you know, after I went through a, a huge loss recently, Absolutely. and after that, I literally, you know, I hadn't been tattooed in, like, four months, five months. Mm-hmm. And after that, within, like, three months, I got, like, yeah. Nine, nine tattoos. Yeah. Oh Jesus! It was just my way of, you know, like dealing with the pain, dealing with things, dealing and, with pain and and it's a release. And I also, I mean, pain, pain, physical pain has always been like I just, I just went, I got suspended for the first time with hooks going through my back. Oh yeah. Oh no. Nice. Hanging, uh-huh. swinging. Yeah, yeah. Like total out of bo- outer body experience. Yeah, like sure. just, I felt good after that. Yeah. I felt I feel I still feel a lot better since I've done that. So. Absolutely, it's great. Like it's definitely a release. It's definitely it's a meditation. It's a huge release. Really. We had a show on it's BDSM. Also memories. It's a memory yeah. kind of deal. It's, it's oh. also placing a certain time of your time life, time of your life, and, and letting yourself know, and not forgetting about that portion yeah. of time. You know, it's, oh. it's a it's a great oh, yeah. marker. So book, I wonder if it's psychologically it's a great allowing it to to go. <laughs> hey, it's out, but I'm never gonna forget it now. Right. So you can move forward with it. That's a yeah. lot of it. Turn. It's almost like you know, it's it's exactly what it is. If turn you, the you page. Know, turn the pages, and, and you know what? I'm gonna deal with it. I'm I'm taking pain from it, and uh, you know, it's like, you know, it's moving on with your life and doing something different, mm. and not dealing with it so much, and you know, because pain is a hard thing to deal with. Yeah. You know, how do we get? Oh yeah. And, you know. It's and it's crazy because. But I've, don't ever tattoo your boyfriend's name on you, ever. Yeah, or your girlfriends. Yeah, or girlfriend. Yeah, it's just bad. Yeah, bad. I agree. We had a whole show on BDSM, and they were talking <laughs> about that as therapy. As really? Like the suspension yeah, thing sure. and, mm-hmm. and the uh, the pain aspect to it and the, you know, that kind of pressure, that release. That, that, it's a yeah. huge release. And it's It's crazy. a huge release, yeah. yeah. Did you just release? <laughs> I came in my pants, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Let's bring that up. <laughs> no, I'm stoked. I already want another one. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, wait, you're done. You're yeah. done. We can so do more. So, what do you think will be? Next? What, yeah. What is your next? What is your? Yeah. Um, I I've always wanted this quote tattooed on me. I just don't know where to put it. Um, oh, it's uh, it's um, a man too set in the clouds is never separate from his depravity of touch. A man's uh, a man governed by his emotions is nothing more than an animal searching for his next meal. But a man's ability to see both and harness their full capacity is a god sweeping through the air, drenching the earth with a torn of fire thrown from his eye. <laughs> oh, damn, Jesus that's a God, <laughs> damn, dude. We're biblical on your ass. <laughs> on your back. I was okay. Like, um, on your whole this leg is a piece. Full, <laughs> this is a full back piece, though. So Jesus. Back piece well, that's actually where sleep. I was thinking of getting it. It was like right here on my shoulder blade. I was thinking like. <laughs> but no. with a chest piece. Full garter belt. <laughs> 
Oh man, that's that is a long, long fucking quote, huh? Yeah, yeah. I was like, I, was I like, thought like, it was gonna be like live happy or something. <laughs> like, live happy, die fast. Uh, yeah, there you go. Live fast, die yeah. fast. So I was like, oh no problem, we could do that in here. And I'm like, yeah. no, 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 no. That's a, that's a big yeah, session. Yeah, that's, that's a yeah. That's a big session. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing he's my best friend. Yeah, he's just my friend. For publicity's sake. This is why he wanted me to do this. You got a free tattoo, <laughs> man. Oh You've God. promised me anything I want that's since the true. beginning of time. That's very true. That's very um, true. And and I think I have unlimited credit with you but no i wanted to have you on because i never it's funny when i started the modern male movement my idea of it was very narrow-minded right. and at the time i mean i was i was basically i cut myself off from everybody I isolated myself and i made this definitive thing basically alone and when you isolate yourself enough and you you come to this conclusion it's like you go back out there in the world and you're like oh well you don't fit that you don't fit. so like wait where did i really write this book where did i right. and it's funny because while i was developing my brand my book was actually very much different than the brand, how right. I branded it. The branding was very narrow, but the book actually talks about, it doesn't matter where you're from or what you do, right. just adopt these few core principles right. and everything will go better. And it was really just, it was actually a rant that I was going to print out and bitch slap the next person that said I was lucky with girls. <laughs> that was it. I literally, it was an outline and I, I was going to, and then I gave it, uh, Robert discovered it. Actually, the same guy was going to get the uh, oh, tattoo on his yeah. ass. And he was the first person to ever have a copy of the book. And he would text me every night and he'd be like, I mean, we're talking like a 50 pages of like notes. Yeah. And he'd be like, dude, oh my God, I just finished reading this to some chick and she says you're a genius. And I get a text the next <laughs> night and he'd be like, holy shit, bro. I used what you said on page 55 and it worked. It yeah, worked fucking perfect. And, and I hear his posts every day <laughs> on Facebook and they're basically probably all off your book. Like, he gets those <laughs> posts every day. This is no. what a girl should do. This is what they shouldn't do. And you know what's funny is they're not. And I'm like, dude, you should write for the modern male movement. Right. Yeah, no, he's fucking, he's hilarious with no, he's his shit. Great, except for he doesn't like to get tattoos that are. That actually mean that something. Mean something cool. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to get my, my face tattooed Seriously, on their why ass? why not? Why not? It's just, yeah, it's a, it's a criminal That would have been a really funny. That would have been That great. would have been really funny, though. Well, you know what? It would have been really funny. But There's hope for the future. There is. Because uh, here's the thing. Now that I've gotten one. I'm thinking it might be really funny to get my face tattooed on Robert. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to have to Before I was like, oh, bro, that's we're permanent. Gonna have, we're gonna and now I'm like, this happen. bitch, not so bad. Call me when you do that. I would, oh. I would like to be Oh, you're coming this. back. You're definitely, <laughs> we're definitely doing this together. It's funny. It's like breathing. Yeah. It's like it condensates. He says breathing. That's awesome. <laughs> like, my tattoo's breathing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a It's plasma. alive. That's plasma. It, plasma comes out. You okay. Know, it's, uh, Interesting. You definitely have to take care of it, and we'll, we'll give you all the dr directions after that. But oh, yeah, it, it's, it's just doing plasma right now, and it's breathing. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally breathing. <laughs> it's exercising its demons, guys. <laughs> Come out. Okay, so Johnny, I mean, we've talked about tattoos probably a thousand times. Absolutely. And you've always had a very, very interesting opinion because as a t tattoo artist, mm -hmm. you were the first person to say, look, I'll give you a tattoo anytime you want. I'll give you the biggest fucking piece you can handle. Right. But do not get a tattoo if it's for the wrong reason. Absolutely. Do you Don't have a lot of bitch people come back and be like, hey, I didn't mean to do that. Will you take this off me? I have a lot of people that, that don't know why they're getting tattoos. I've had people walk into my shop and... Uh, they literally would walk in and be like, dude, just put whatever. I, I don't care. Just, you know, put, put, put right here, whatever you got, you know, or right here. And, and they literally go for the hands, the neck, or the, the front of your arm. Um, the parts it, you can't hide. Without yeah, well, the place that every, anybody can see. You know, everybody can see it. So that's where they're going, and that's, they're literally just doing it for a reason to be seen. I mm. mean, if you don't, if you're literally coming into my shop and you're saying, hey, man, I want this, and I don't care what you put. Just put whatever you want. Then I know you just you're just not you wanting to. Probably shouldn't be getting tattooed. You just, you don't, yeah, you, yeah. Just, you really don't like if you had a style. Or there's a reason you like now, it, or there's a the history behind it. You know that's great. Or if you just felt like you love the artwork, fine too. You know, just get it. You know, get it done. But don't you know walk in and be like. Hey, it's like they're buying a jacket. Right. Right. Hey, bro, just dress me real quick. Just put like exactly, a, yeah. and that's yeah. what it is. It's like seriously. Except it's now. like clothes you can't now, ever take off. <laughs> you're, you're. It's gonna be on your body for the rest of your life. Don't no. you think you would want something that was meant for you and nice a looking? Bit. It's yeah, your yeah. canvas. This is basically yeah. your free blank canvas that uh, you know is bad. Yeah. Ass. You know, you should do something that means something to you, or not, or something that you think is beautiful. Now, is it because instead of being an asshole, it's it's disrespectful to <laughs> your craft, right? Is sure. is why For is sure. what it is. So there's actually something I've turned much away people deeper. that have done you know walked in and just be like oh, 
you know, this is what I want. Because I'd be like, oh, that's free money, and you do great work. I'd rather just turn it away sometimes. Because they're disrespecting what well, it is. It is, tattoos. but it's also boring to me. You know, mm -hmm. it doesn't give me any passion. It doesn't give me... Yeah. It doesn't, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm just like, oh, well, I'll, yeah, I'll put a Dumbo on you, you know, like, <laughs> whatever, dude. I'll put a penis I'll, I'll on put you. A fucking penis with wings. Yeah. <laughs> whatever you want, dude. Yeah, it's boring. It's like, seriously, okay. I'm sitting here tattooing you and you have no idea why. Like, you know, you know, that's just weird to me. I don't know why. It's, it's got to be, you know. Make up your fucking. I mean, you know, I don't get me wrong though. I yeah. have my share of shitty tattoos. Absolutely. I you know, when I was younger. Where? And, um. <laughs> I'll show you later. They're all pretty awesome. <laughs> I have they some. Well, awesome. the first few that I got, not knowing about, letting friends practice on me. Mm. I let friends practice on my cooter. That's how oh, I we got were... shitty tattoos. Oh. No, I don't have. No. <laughs> no. So I got the shitty tattoos where I can't see them because you're hardly wearing anything. Um. Well, I have my hips. You know, I have. Yeah. I just have weird ones where it's like, what the fuck was I thinking? I mean, I was young. When we were young, it was a different story, though. Yeah, when we were young, that's the industry. And I mean, I didn't know. I wasn't educated on, you know, portfolios, making sure yeah. that you look, when you go to a tattoo shop, look through portfolios. Absolutely. Make sure your artist has nice artwork. You don't want to be sure stuck with someone good, who just got out of prison good. using shitty ink, using, you know. Dirty needles. Dirty needles. I mean, honestly, Absolutely. from. Absolutely. Yeah, I've seen, I, I've w also worked in tattoo shops. I tour with tattoo conventions. Absolutely. Um, I, I've seen some weird been shit in a lot happen. Of magazines, a lot yes, of I do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually, got a cover. Got a cover. Oh, Quite, uh, what is that on Ink Magazine? Um, I believe it's Skin and Ink. Skin yeah, and Ink. Skin and Ink. Uh, um, me there's and so my many friend. magazines out there now, and I'm like, it's hard to keep up. Yeah, <laughs> I just had the cover of Savage for February, yeah. oh, which nice. is pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. It's crazy. This isn't anything like what I envisioned. Cause I envisioned so much like I don't know I was like wait tattoo permanent it's like well, it's permanent it's like you're never gonna take He's it gonna off go home try to wash it off no like, and then no, I'm like I'm why oh. you come you off, good, man. but I'm over here and I'm like this is fucking awesome yeah, yeah. like every time I look at it I'm like oh, yes shit. He's totally <laughs> yes. Out. He's gonna get sleeved out dude. oh I, I totally know what's happening okay now. the day I get sleeved out is the day I'm taking Johnny to Vegas and fucking we're we're, we're going we're, we're going to say I like this because I don't somebody just Johnny. Yeah, just oh, okay. I'll yeah. take both of you guys to, to Vegas. <laughs> um, full ex all expenses Dude, paid because yes. I can't even I fathom like, getting tattooed. We're going to Vegas. Uh, getting close yeah. to Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. Strippers! <laughs> Strippers! And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How long does careful. a full sleeve usually take? Be careful. Take? Oh. Look, he's already asking. No, 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 no. <laughs> he's already asking questions. Look no, but how long does that take? Because it seems like that would take like you got you days, got thirty hours and up. I mean, it just depends on the detail. Okay. Um, it could. Uh, I put it into sections. I like to go fast, so I, I do four sections: section, 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 section. But that's quick. Um, so you're looking people at more want than sleeves. Si you're looking more at six at six sessions. They, they just love the ink, or like, like why? Why wouldn't you just get a tattoo and a tattoo, and as they slowly overlap? Because bigger, bigger tattoos are beautiful. Flow. You want yeah. flow. You, want you know, tattoos. say if you want to do that, if you're going to do it, you know, full sleeve, you know, you want it to be mapped out in the beginning. You don't want it to, like, do a little, like, my, like a little. I made a mistake of not getting yeah. a full sleeve. This this arm I'm working on now, but my so leg, I actually like it. I like that there's a little break up in between. I want, yeah, I want this, I want a full sleeve. You know, ma okay, imagine if my chest piece wasn't a full piece and it was a bunch of little tattoos everywhere. Yeah. Fair enough. Look at, you know, the symmetry, the but flow, But I, I like that the there is some. There's some separation between church, church and state. It's like <laughs> there's this area, and then there's this area, and then there's this area. Yeah, yeah. Not for long. <clears throat> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's also beautiful to see it not, to, to see it completely you yeah. know, covered, mm -hmm. and to see great work. Yes. She has some beautiful work. Oh. Right? And I know some of the artists that have tattooed her, and they're absolutely amazing. And it's it's nice to see that. It's very them, nice. You know. we're a, just lot sitting of, here. a lot of my tattoos were when I was younger, and it was kind of we're all messing around, and, you know, uh, Johnny, you are a great tattoo artist, and yeah. hopefully you'll make Absolutely some time for amazing. a bit sometime That would be soon. nice. Let's do this. Hell yeah. I would never yeah. let anybody else in the world Absolutely. put a needle to my skin. Well, thank you, guys. Uh, I appreciate it. But yeah, no. You're, you're one of the top fucking tattoo thank artists you. in the world, it. right? Or, no, or I'm, in I'm, America. I'm, I'm, in LA. <laughs> <laughs> in this radio station. <laughs> in the vicinity. Yes. In the Uber Two miles <laughs> vicinity. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's one of the best tattoo artists in Sherman Oaks, guys. Wait, where, Hollywood. Where are we? <laughs> Hollywood. 
Yeah, but I mean, look it, me up, people. Hollywood, come down. Hollywood Boulevard. I'm always walking up and down, so come say what's up. <laughs> it, it's <laughs> funny because there, <laughs> there are actually a group of. I mean, I've heard about this on Hollywood Boulevard. There are a lot of tattoo shops. I mean, it's kind of what makes Hollywood their yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's kind of like a stop and pop. Like you. Oh, it's a street shop. They're street yeah. shops, and street shops are different from uh, custom shops. You know, it's they're okay. all different. My shop. Sacred Art was a uh, more of a, a custom shop, you know. A street shop is more of you walk in, you get, you pick something off the wall, and that's what you get, you know. It's mainly for uh, the tourists, tourists that come here in Hollywood, and yeah. you know, you know, there's no disrespect to all those shops, you know. They do what they do, you know. It's it's just different from what I would uh, ever be a part of, you know. I like the custom, okay. I like the beautifulness, I like the doing original, doing the beautiful thing, maybe yeah. thinking about it more than anything else. Not okay. just, you know, something that you would see, yeah. fla some flash on the wall that you would just be like, oh, I want that, even Absolutely. though millions of other people probably have yeah. that. Oh, it's crazy. That. I don't get how you could go in and pick something off of a oh. wall. That means... That, that's right. like, you had no forethought. You just wanted to tattoo <laughs> it's, that it's bad. The non -creative. People do that. Yeah, people it's the non-creative thing mm. of why... A lot of people aren't creative like us, guys. It's the disrespect that you're <laughs> Well, and that's about. another reason why you should go to a custom shop because you're not creative. creative. You should go to somebody and say, hey, man, this is what I like. I this like is this, my idea. I like this is my Draw idea. Draw this out for me. And then boom, that's what you get. So anybody that's going to a street shop and you want something... Well, then go to a custom shop and say, hey, man, this is what I want, and, and let the artist create it for you. How would somebody tell the difference between a street shop and a custom shop? Uh, you'll, you'll notice there's flash Actually, all over the wall. Fuck uh, the information. I mean, we're going to get to the information real quick. Just go to Johnny's shop. How about that? There we go. Perfect. <laughs> now, now, now give them the difference. <laughs> there we go. That's if probably. they're not in, in L.A., yeah. tell them how. Yeah. Um, well, you, you would see um, definitely flash all over the place. Portfolios. Portfolios. Look at portfolios. See really what they look see. at portfolios. Um, mm, that's okay. the most important thing. Right. Um, what you're doing is you're going to look at lines, shading. Shading should be solid from one point to another and, and completely Not faded patchy. Out. Not patchy, meaning it's you know dark here, it comes up here, and it's a little faded. You, know, it's like, you want it to be smooth. Smooth shading. Um, Ma you know, meaning one color. Meaning one color or... Tone Multiple out. colors, but m moving. Fading. Gra uh, gra it's a gra yeah, gradual. Gradual. <laughs> I see you. I got you. Yeah, line work okay. needs to be solid. It means it needs to be a, a line that's straight. straight. Not like. Not like you know. It needs to be a solid. Well, one. it's funny because I got all straight lines on there this tattoo, go. and they look great. Damn it! I was trying to. Do Where's, <laughs> Where's the <laughs> cock in this? I don't see it. Uh, uh, I I there's a little it. piece I of I fuzz did. on it. It's actually, right it's right there. It's right there. See it? There's so much blood. Oh my god! I just reenacted my. There's a, there's a little piece little, of fuzz. Don't touch it. No there's touch fucking it. No fuzz touch. on it, man. We're going to wipe it up after the show. All right, all right. We're going to wipe it down yeah. in a minute here, folks. Yeah. We're actually getting ready to wrap up. we got like 10 minutes left. Um, so what are you guys working on? What do you want to promote? Uh, I don't know. What do you got? She's promoting. Uh, let me uh -huh. see. As in. A fence now. No. Where can people find you? What are you doing? What do you want to promote? Well, I do work for a company called Caviar Gold. Okay. For any of you... Um, Medical marijuana smokers. <laughs> oh, that's what caviar goes. Oh. Yes, it oh. is actually. It is a special bud. It Hello, is love. Top shelf bud that is CO2 infused to the stem of the nug, and then it's rolled and doused with keep. Wait, so they're making that shit stronger? Oh, it's like a oh, triple bud. It's, yeah. And it's actually the it's strongest insane. medication on the planet right now. It's insane. Um, we're doing some amazing things. We yeah. just got connected with Jamaica. Way to turn wow. fucking weed into Oxycontin. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> right? Actually, we use uh, Rick Simpson oil, which has been known to help cure cancer. It lines the fat oh, wow. cells for cancer patients. Um, it is a great product. That's why I stand strongly by it, and I truly believe in it. And I, it's, it's changing. It's making a big game change in the whole. It's amazing. Uh, I mean, pot was too strong when I was 15, and they're like, oh, this, what was it, chronic, chronic was the shit. Chronic. And they're like, this is chronic, Thank bro. You, Snoop Dogg. And then once Kush came out, fuck it. I, I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't even take a hit. It was, well, was Snoop, Snoop, Snoop's Snoop promoted our, our product yeah, many yeah, times. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's a, a, he's a that, avid yeah. smoker. Um, he did something with Seth Rogen, which is pretty cool. Seth he was like, Rogen, you got to yeah. smoke that caviar gold. <laughs> um, he's nice. great. Yeah, so that, and then I'm also still doing, you know, the little alternative modeling stuff. Absolutely. And working, just dipping so into if you, anybody needs a model, here she is. Yes, a tattoo model. Absolutely. And you can find me on Instagram or Facebook. My Instagram yeah. is Miss and my SS underscore Lexi, L-E-X-I, <laughs> <laughs> underscore Bonkers, B-O-N-K-E-R-S. Underscore. <laughs> Badass <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you can find me at uh, Instagram is Johnny Ocean, uh, J-O, how do I spell my name? J-O-N-N-Y <laughs> underscore Ocean. <laughs> Uh, Facebook as well. 
Um, just tattooing. Anybody wants to get tattooed, hit me up. And I'm always here. Fuck, man. I want another one. Can yeah, we just, like, rewind the show? I know you do. <laughs> we can always do another show. And just... It's like the first time I ever did a line. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Everybody warned me about it my whole life, and then I did it, and I was you like, this shit's awesome! I can't talk about it. What are it. lines? What, what do you mean We lines? can talk about whatever the fuck we want on this, on this show. Oh, really? Yeah, you can say fuck shit, damn. Shit, fuck, it. fuck damn. We can talk about raping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> I'll leave that to you. <laughs> You've raped more people than I have. <laughs> so, yeah, hit on me up. Thursdays. Anybody wants to get tattooed, let them really know. Hit See, me my up. day is Sunday. My name's on this. What? No, her day's Thursday. My day's Actually, mine's <laughs> Tuesday, but I was trying to... I didn't want to blow my cover. Ah. It's out of the bag now. <laughs> this is a reverent LA talk radio. So, Johnny, <laughs> what, uh, you got... Uh, Tell me where I can find you. Where, where can I get some ink done? Um, well, you can call me up. Just find me on Facebook and hit me up and let me know. Um, I'm currently in the... Uh, I'm actually opening a new place. Um, that's a little bit different from old shops. Uh, still in the works of doing all that. So, hit me up. And I can tell you all about it, but it should cool. be a very crazy experience of getting a tattoo. So a little bit different from what you've seen in the in the the past. Maybe not as like well, what? Well, yeah, you know, tell me now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's more of an art art thing, and you know. Oh, uh, it's the, okay. Yeah, you don't yeah, want to yeah, tell so. too much. So you know, I want to make sure we before, can't let the cat out of the before bag. Before I tell anybody, you know, I want to make sure it gets you know everything gets done, and and uh, the place is beautiful before everybody comes, but. I think it'll be really cool. I'm going to come all over it's it. It's a new, <laughs> <laughs> the new art scene. And, and that would be gross. I'm going to have sex in every fucking room. There's a lot of rooms. Well, then uh, I got my work cut out for me, but uh, I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not by yourself. <laughs> yeah, that would be awkward. <laughs> Just make sure you put some lotion in every room. <laughs> oh, there we go. Motion that of the bad. ocean. Speaking of which, because uh, I don't have any lotion anywhere in my house. So when you walk out, you're like, hey, do you have any lotion? And she's like, of course, all guys have lotion. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is she talking about? I don't have lotion. Everybody I was has like, lotion. let me guess. It's in the bedroom. <laughs> or was it? It was in the, On the nightstand. my roommate's bathroom. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, guys. Um, well, hold on. I actually got to switch seats real quick. Yes, do that. And we're going to talk about... Something. Hookers. Hookers. <laughs> yeah. Hookers blood. Is there anything else that you guys want to add about tattoos? Um, any uh, last minutes? Um, I love them. Yes. I love them. Uh, just make sure whenever you get a tattoo, man, do it for the right reasons. And, you know, think about it. Think what you want and make sure you have a great artist. There's a million great artists and there's some, really, there's some really bad Fly artists out, out there. Fun, call me. Hit Fly me up. out. Yeah. That's but what I'm uh, about. definitely, yeah. definitely <laughs> look. Fly me out it, too. Yeah. Yeah, well, I need right. an assistant. So if you're flying me out, you got to fly her out. Wait, but, does this uh, mic work? Hold on. Yeah. Hold yes, on. it does. Yeah, I can, it does. I can you can hear, hear me? Because yeah. I can't hear me. <laughs> There's always the dud pair. Usually, <laughs> usually somebody over there gets stuck with them. They're like, oh, well, it's Jared's show, so I'm not going to say anything about it. But no, I got stuck with them. <laughs> Motherfuckers. All right, cool, guys. Um, as always, you can find us at methodologyofthemodernmail.com. You can find us on Instagram, uh, modern.mail. Oh. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us... <laughs> Pretty much <laughs> anywhere that you can Google me or this show. Um, and we're going to be having some uh, some Instagram videos coming up of Jerry getting some more tattoos, I think. Oh, yeah. I like this idea. Follow yeah. I like this idea. This is really good. So if you can, uh, you guys go on, on Instagram and follow Johnny Ocean. It's really simple. J-O-N-N-Y. Uh, o C E A N underscore in between. <laughs> Is there an underscore? Yeah, underscore. I think. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Somebody does it for me, so I'm not quite your, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and then your Instagram. Miss M I S S underscore Lexi underscore Bonkers underscore Bonkers. Okay. And then Facebook as well. Lexi uh, Bonkers. Johnny Ocean. Same deal. Mm -hmm. You know, hit hit us up. But don't go on his Facebook because there's some crazy <laughs> shit. <on his> Facebook. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. It's great. So. Guys, definitely follow uh, follow <coughs> these two guys, and uh, we wish you wish you all the luck and success in the world. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it, man. Thank You're awesome, you. brother. You're awesome. Thank you for letting us on. This is really letting cool. you guys on. I get the privilege of having you. This on. Is Absolutely. Awesome. I I'm love fucking it. stoked. Yeah, okay. Next time we bring lines. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for tonight, folks. All Thanks right. for tuning in to Modern Mail Radio. <laughs> You're listening to Modern Male Radio with Jared Zavistoski, right here on LA Talk Radio.